Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for tuning into this video. Now, I have been asked so many times on YouTube and on Instagram to film a video of me doing my makeup. So, that's what I'm going to do today. Now, I am not a makeup artist. I don't even act like I'm a makeup artist or think that I'm a makeup artist because I don't even have that many good brands that I use. And my brushes are like from the reject shop, Big W, Kmart, and I think I've got two from Nude by Nature. <laughs> oh, and one um, Real Techniques brush, which was so expensive. I can't fathom spending $15 on a brush for makeup. That's just so expensive. So before you do makeup, I highly recommend you wash your face and if need be, exfoliate a little bit where you normally are dry on the skin. And yeah. So I use this Neutrogena hair wrap thing like that around my face to make sure my makeup doesn't really get on my hair. I don't know where you can get this from. I got it from Love Island, so I'm guessing if you just Google Neutrogena, it would come up. But yeah, as you can see, I've used it for quite some time. I'm just gonna pop this on my head. All right, now I look bold. We're ready to start. <laughs> Before I apply any makeup, I'm going to use this moisturizer. And as you can see, I have sucked the living daylight out of it. Um, my makeup artist, Tiffany, actually recommended this makeup, this moisturizer, sorry, for me. She gave it to me and I can swear by it. It's amazing. So this is the product that I'll be putting on my face first. All right, so that's done. Now next up, I need to prep my face even more because I have extremely dry skin and my makeup just does not stay on or it cracks everywhere, it's terrible. So I literally use this Rimmel London Instant Fix and Go and I got it from Chemist Warehouse, I think. Yeah, I spray this on my face. Smells like cucumbers too. It's amazing. So now that has dried, I'm going to use the Prep and Prime from MAC. Now I only recently just got this product, so we'll see how this works. So my skin, I it takes me forever to prep my skin for makeup. Oh, that smells like coconut. So the next product I use on my face is also from Rimmel London <laughs> and I also got this from Chemist Warehouse and it's just the Stay Matte Makeup Prime Primer. And I just take a little bit of this. I know a lot of people normally use brushes but I just find it really easy to pop primer on with my fingers. So I use a couple of different foundations on my skin. Um, I use the Krylon stick. I use this under my eyes. And then I have the Benefit Hello Happy in shade, no idea. <laughs> I also use the Colorstay Full Cover Foundation from Revlon. I use these two when I go out clubbing or if I'm going to be outside for a long period of time and I'm going to be sweating a lot and know the sun's going to be on my face um, because I find that it I don't sweat through it that much and it stays on and it does not move and then I also use the Benefit Hello Happy um, just for everyday makeup and I can cake it on if I want but yeah I feel like this really stays on my face as well but I sweat through it slightly towards the end of the day and I feel like I'm touching up my skin when I use a lot of this, so... Yeah, I don't know, it really depends on the day though, because I've worn this out clubbing before and it was amazing. So I don't know. Just guess it depends on how much I've prepped my skin and how my skin loves me on the day. <laughs> Alright, so I literally grabbed my Naked palette, <laughs> the back of it, and I'm going to pop... I'm going to use this one today on the back of it. Now, as I said, my makeup brushes are like the cheapest ones you can get. 
besides I think this one this is the new by nature brush I have it's like the second most expensive brush I own and it took me about 15 minutes to convince myself to get it um, I think it's amazing applying makeup I use it all the time and then I use a sponge Oh my god, please blend your makeup. I cannot stress this enough. Like, I think I put too much makeup on my neck, but I would rather have too much makeup on there than no makeup, and it looks ridiculous. Oh, look at this pimple. Go away. Oh, my eyelashes need brushing. As if I don't have an eyelash brush with me. <laughs> Okay, so now I feel like that is spread on my face enough. I take this brush now. <laughs> I take this sponge and you guys are going to die. I haven't found a sponge like this since I got this one. And it is so old and manky, but I can't find a replacement. I know I went to Kmart and I got this one, but it's just like really hard with this one. Like, you know, anyway, so I'm going to take this. and just pat the hell out of my entire face. I think it's so therapeutic just sitting here doing this, but I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with my skin, but if I don't sit here for so long and do this, my skin just won't set afterwards. Like I need it to get into my soul. I need to pat my makeup into my soul. It's not in my soul, it's not doing its job. Now that's done, I'm going to use the Krylon Stick Foundation for under my eyes. Now this is where my eyelash brush comes in handy. I'm probably so unhygienic when it comes to makeup. Anyway, I scoop out a little bit from here, like so. A little bit on there, pop it on here, and I just move it around so that it's nice and mushed up. Then I grab my manky little sponge and I pop that on there. And I just like move it around because it does get quite a lot of product on the sponge and I don't need that much. And then I go in under my eyes and just pat it around. And then I pop it on the top of my eyelid so they cover so it covers up my veiny eyelids. I don't know why I have such veiny eyelids, it's disgusting. Honestly, my wrist gets so sore from doing this, but I feel like the more you blend, the better your makeup will look. Well, that's how my skin feels anyway. There is like one thing I honestly cannot stand and it is foundation on my lips. So I'm just going to spray a bit of this on a Q-tip. You can do this at the end of your makeup, but I just hate looking at myself with lips with foundation on them. I know, I think it's like a, that's a weird thing in my head because I can just take it off after I finish doing my makeup, but looking at it makes me feel gross. So now we're going to set my face. I use two products. I use Nude by Nature and the Too Faced Banana Cream. The first one I like to do is use the Nude by Nature one. And I just dab it. Done. Then I grab the Too Faced Banana Cream one. Get a whole lot on there, tap it off. And I like to just pop that underneath my eyes. I don't think it does anything to be honest. It's all in my head. It smells amazing though. 
Oh yeah, I got this brush from Benefit. This is also probably the third most expensive brush I have. But this was given to me, so I didn't spend money on it. Because I wouldn't spend that much money on a brush. <laughs> and then we're just blending, blend into your soul. Alright, get that in there. Whew. Now we are on to bronzer. I have a couple of bronzers. I have these two Too Faced ones. Everyone would know this one. I use this one every day. It smells like chocolate. It's so good. And then this one. Um, I wasn't a real big fan of this one. As you can see, I haven't used it very much. I've used it like twice. Um, it's the Pineapple Sun one. I love the colouring of it. It's just... Um, I feel like it didn't suit my skin. I don't know. I still love Too Faced because I'm obsessed with this one. And then I've also got um, a Benefit one as well. This one. Um, the Hula one. But I don't know. I also found like it didn't sit on my skin as well as I wanted it to. Alright, so this is the brush I'm going to be using. No idea what you would call this brush. Um, it's a cheap brush. I think it's from Kmart for like $4 or something. Who knows? Who cares? I just... Hmm. And I do like this little annoying weird duck face so I can see the line here that I want to colour in. And then you just go for it. I just hack into my face. I love it looking like I've got a sharp cheekbone. I some This is where I'm so different when I do my makeup. I pop this all under here and then onto my cheeks, like the, the apples of my cheeks. And I just colour this entire bit in. I just blend up. Back down onto my cheeks. Back up. I do this like three or four times. And then onto the next cheek. I literally just sit here for ages doing this so that it's all blended because I hate it when there's a mark and on the side. I don't know why I put it onto the apples of my cheeks, but I just I just like to do it. I just like that part of my face to look very poor. Damn. So I've always put bronzer on top before I put blush. Then I will grab my brush that I used before for my setting powder and I will just blend again. There's a whole lot of blending that goes onto my face. Okay, so now that is done, let's get on to some blush. I love blush. I don't know how some girls don't use blush. I just think it really sets the face. For the blush brush, I have, oh, I have a Sephora brush. I didn't even know this was a Sephora brush. I think I must've got this when I was in America. But anyway, this is the blush, oh. This is the brush that I use for blush, and I know it's probably not a blush brush, but it is now, and it has been for the last 100 years that I've been using it. So, now, for blush, I use this Benefit one. What's it called? No idea. But it's the Benefit one, and it is amazing. It is amazing. And if I'm not going to use that one, there is one more that I use, but I'm trying to find it. The Too Faced Strawberry one. Oh. I find that the Too Faced one was super pinky. So after I apply the Benefit on my cheeks, I go in with a little bit of this just to like make it pop a bit more. I will show you. So with the Benefit one. Now I will show you what I mean. It's very pinky. I literally just one, two. One, two. And that's the blush done. And then I just blend again. Now I go on to highlighter. Now that's where my other expensive brush comes from. So I got 
this Real Techniques brush from Priceline. I'm pretty sure this was like almost $14 and I was like, who the fuck spends $14, $15 on a brush? For this, like this was that much money. Is that how much it is? I'm going to Google it because Real Techniques have such amazing brushes, but I just can't afford it. Yeah, this was like about $16. How crazy is that? This was $16. Anyway, moving forward, I obviously bought it because it's amazing and I highly recommend it, but um, it's got to save for it. I have been using this highlighter for about a year almost. It's called the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Powder. This is the one that everyone asks me what I'm wearing on my Instagram. And it is amazing. It is super pinky though. So, I don't know, it works for me. I go in with my real expensive Real Techniques brush. And we just go in. Don't do highlighter like I do, honestly. I don't know why I do it up there near my eyebrow, but I just do. Oh, look at that in there. Oh, girl, that highlighter popping. Woo. I'm gonna do more. We'll just go to my nose. I just do the tip of my nose. My makeup artist taught me this. Just the tip to make it look cute. I don't contour around my nose because I don't know how. <laughs> mm. All right. Lucky little blending brush. I never used to do my eyebrows ever. I literally mean ever. Like the only time my eyebrows would be filled in is if I had my makeup done by a professional. And then going on Love Island, I just saw everyone doing their eyebrows. I'm like, it's so hard. So I got the, what one is this? Benefit. So I use all Benefit products for my eyebrows and only just recently because, I don't know, I just haven't really been into doing my eyebrows, but Benefit really helped. So I use, the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in number four. And I go in. First I just brush it. It's honestly not, I'm not, I don't do, I don't care for my eyebrows. I should, but I don't. And I just go underneath first. Little strokes. Because I was told that that's what you do. And I just... <laughs> Holy shit, see what I mean? Like, I fucking fuck at this. And then on the top. All I'm doing is following the shape of my brow and just filling in the bits that are bald. You know what I mean? That's all I'm doing. I absolutely suck at eyebrows because I'm gonna go over it in a minute anyway with more benefit shit, so. I'm just really not that into it. All right, so that's done. And then I use the Gimme Brow from Benefit in number three, which is odd because I just use the number four pencil for whatever. And I just brush it into it. And also, if you brush it backwards, it covers more areas. I don't really see much of a difference. Like, I know it's slightly darker, but whatever. Okay, so then now I'm just going to fill in the other one. Oh my god, eyebrows are such an issue for me. Like, I've watched tutorials on it too, and I'm just, I'm honestly just penciling my face. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best. I just pencil my eyebrow and I think, you know what? They look really good. Perfect. Just look at these brows. I know you're jealous of them. Okay. Now next, I use the brow setter from Benefit as well. I give it a nice wipe on the edge and I just 
honestly this shit is like magic it makes your eyebrows stay like even after a night out and i've got my makeup wipes and i'm trying to take it off it's that hard to get off and that's what you want it's amazing so this is what i would call my everyday look and if i wanted to make it more like clubbing going out for dinner look i would add some eyeliner and some bottom mascara and i thought why not show you guys how i do my eyeliner so we are going to do that now all right now this is how i do my eyeliner it's very different i don't really have i don't know how i don't really have instructions on how to do it just follow what i do okay so i grab this and the end of my eye there, and I just do a line and a line. What I aim to do is make the line be in line with the bottom of my eyebrow. Okay, so that's done. That's so simple and so easy. Now, I go from the tip of the line that I've just done and I push it all the way across to the end of my eye. One big line, just like that. Don't go up, don't go down, don't go around. You just grab the, the tip of it and you just move all the way straight. And whatever you do, don't blink while doing that. So this is what it should look like. It looks ridiculous, but that's what it looks like. And then I go in on the sides here and I just color in. Okay, so now you must have this awkward, weird looking thing on the end that you want to call a wing, but it's not quite a wing just yet. So this is where, I don't know, I'm not an artist or anything, but I draw my own wing. So I start from the top and I go up and then I start from the bottom. It seems for me it's really confusing, but I will show you what I do. <laughs> Highly recommend if you have eyelash extensions to always have an eyelash brush nearby to make sure that you're constantly brushing your lashes just in case they get all like gross from the mascara I mean the eyeliner all right so that is done and I haven't finished it yet but I'm going to go on to the other wing to make sure it matches all right so I think that's good enough for now so what I'm going to do is just go in with this and color in right near my lashes you don't see any white. So next I'm going to do my mascara. I got this from e.l.f. at Kmart. So now that is done, I will take off the makeup from my lips again because like I told you guys, I'm not a fan of makeup lips. Not a fan at all. So next I'm going to add some lippy and I just got this lipstick um, from Rimmel London at Chemist Warehouse. It was pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure it was on sale. Now normally, um, I know there's a lot of makeup artists out there that use lip liner, but like I said, I'm just so casual with my makeup, like I just don't care. And then I go in with the, ooh, the part two of the lipstick. It adds a nice little glossy finish and it makes the lipstick stay on a lot longer. Okay, so now I have pretty much a full face of makeup on. I need to set it. So like before, I'm going to mix the Rimmel Fix and Go with the MAC Prep and Prime because you can never set your face too much. Well, you probably can, but who knows? It works for me. Oh, it smells like cucumbers. It's amazing. Okay, so this is the end product of my makeup look. I wear this makeup probably two to three times a week when I'm going out or if I just want to doll myself up and feel pretty. Um, I hope it's been helpful to some people, but I just really did it to show you guys how I do my makeup. I'll finish the look with some earrings. 
just to make it a lot more prettier. I love these earrings, I got them from Louisa. Shit. All right, so that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for sitting there and watching this entire video of me doing makeup and talking shit. Um, I hope you guys have liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, leave a comment. And like I say all the time, leave suggestions on what I should do for my next videos. Um, I just love interacting with everyone. So leave a comment so we can chat, inbox me, and yeah, hope you guys have a good day.